Here are the stories making news at this hour. I'm Marissa Bailey. A Texas teenager accused of planning an ISIS-inspired mass shooting is in jail. Prosecutors say he was caught during an undercover investigation. The 17-year-old alleged wannabe terrorist was arrested at his high school Tuesday morning, charged with plotting an ISIS-inspired mass shooting. Chris Shalegal, who's lived next door to Mateen Azizi Arlen for a year, says the teen's mother was clearly upset when the FBI arrived. She was sitting crying and um, just weeping. We were not exactly, at the time, we didn't know why. The FBI says Azizi Yarland was indoctrinated by ISIS propaganda online and hoped to join the fight in Afghanistan before deciding to focus closer to home. Texting an undercover agent he thought was a fellow supporter, the teen wrote in January, quote, I read article from ISIS. They say it's better to attack them here. He even discussed targets. School is a perfect place for an attack. And there is a Hindu temple I want to shoot up. By late March, he settled on this mall and scouted the location multiple times. He wrote the attack would be during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan to avoid Muslim casualties. His weapon of choice would be an AR-15, but federal law bans anyone younger than 18 from buying it on their own. Over two months, he wired more than $1,400 to undercover agents pretending to be in on the job. He said, my rifle needs to be pretty and cool looking. Put an I Love America sticky on the side. The teen is being held on $3 million bail, according to an Anti-Defamation League report released just yesterday. More than half of the individuals involved in Islamic extremist plots here in the U.S. were actually born here. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York. And more rain is on the way. Here's meteorologist Megan Glaros with the forecast. Hey, everybody. We may be dry out there right now with some cloud cover and expecting it to remain that way with a very low rain chance up until about 5 o'clock. Then that rain chance starts to trend up as we see some showers and storms firing up again. Eventually, they trend back down into tomorrow morning. So we're still looking at the potential for some additional severe weather chances. It looks like the slight risk zone has pushed a little bit farther west, though. Good news for us, but we're still in the marginal risk area. So while we are looking at an improving weather situation, we still have some storms to get through. We're going to be topping out today right around 75 degrees, 72 on Friday, Saturday, 75, 62 degrees on Sunday. We're kind of back and forth with off and on rain chances. Saturday looks like the better day of the weekend, but even Sunday it'll be in the low 60s with just a few scattered showers. Today, 75, and again, back half of the day is our best chance for storms.